Welcome to another video. I love this topic because this was what I studied on my own and made so many decisions in my life. One of those major decisions was to never gamble my money on anything that has to do with chances or probabilities. If it has to do with ability, I may gamble on it. But if it has to do with chances, no because you might be surprised how tiny your chances are if you gamble on permutations. The question for this video is, in how many ways can you arrange the letters of the word YouTube? I chose this word specially because, well, we're on YouTube, and secondly, I can explain something about the two U's that you see, because it looks like that's the only letter that is repeated. This topic is called arrangement or permutation. But what we do mostly is combination or selection. So let's talk about arrangement and permutation. And you see these boxes here? This was the strategy with which I learned this topic. And this has always worked for me. Some people are quick to jump to the formulas for permutation and combination. But for me, this just works all the time. So, if you already know what the answer is, that's cool. If you don't know what this is all about, let's just see how many ways you can rewrite or rearrange the letters of the word YouTube and we'll be done. Let's get into it. So let's assume you're given seven letters, Y-O-U-T-U-B-E, and you're asked to find the number of ways you can rearrange them. Actually, if you want to take your time, you can try to rearrange all the letters and just write them out on a piece of paper or in a computer, okay? Well, this process is called permutation or arrangement. So how do you do it? This is the strategy that works, and it works no matter how complicated the cases are. So, what you do is, you basically say, there is this first spot. So, I want to choose the first letter for all my arrangements. What you do is, you look at all the seven letters that you have, Y-O-U-T-U-B-E, and you can pick any of these seven letters. So, what you do is, for this very first position, you're going to pick a letter. The first letter you pick has seven options. So we're going to write seven here for the first space. Now, you must have picked one of these seven. So you're left with only six letters for the next box. So because you've picked one, just for, just for theoretical reasons, okay, we're just going to assume that you picked one of these. Let's just pick one of them. Let's assume randomly, I'm going to just, okay, let's say I picked the first U. So this is going to be U. Assuming this is what I do, picked, okay? So we can know the number of letters left. Now, when I go to the next box, I only have six options, okay? So because I only have six options remaining, I can only multiply. I can only have six options for the next box. So let's assume I picked the letter O. Let's assume I picked this one. So I'm going to put it here so I can know how many letters are left. Okay, to pick the next one, I have one, two, three, four, five. I have five options. So, so you can already see that, let's assume I picked T. The next one, I'm going to have four options remaining. So let's assume I picked E. Let's do it this way, four options. So I had four options, that's why I picked E. Now I have three options left, B, U, and Y. Let's assume I picked Y next, okay? That was from three options. And then two options, and then I have one option. So uh, what letters are left? Let's say this was U, and what was the last one that I haven't used? B. Okay. So this is one likely arrangement of the letters of the word YouTube. Right? So now I can easily say that the letters of the word YouTube can be arranged in how many ways? 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, which is what we call 7 factorial. 
So the number of permutations of seven distinct objects is seven factorial. So if we had A, B, C, D, E, F, no, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, seven objects, it will be seven factorial because A is completely different from B. So this would have been the answer to this problem. However, we have two U's that we cannot distinguish. Anytime you cannot distinguish, it means that we, we would repeat this. If we switch these, it would be another arrangement, but we can't tell which one is which. So it means we'll be doubling the same thing. You're going to see this. Uh, I've seen this before. And then you go, you go, I've seen this. This is the same thing. It's just that it was the other U. Because the U's are not distinguishable, you'll have to have whatever you have done. Because this is going to be repeated. Okay? Whatever spot you find u is going to be repeated so you're going to say that the total number of arrangements of the letters of the word youtube is treating them as if they are completely different and then dividing by the number of similar elements so we're going to divide this by two why because there are two identical u's if there's another combination of identical elements you have to also divide by that so you reduce the number of repeated or repetitions. Okay, so this is the answer to this problem. So it is 7 factorial over 2, which we can calculate as 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3. Well, this 2 is going to be cancelled by this 2, and this is our answer. And what does this give us? Well, let's say times 2 over 2. I don't need to write the 1 because 1 doesn't change anything, and this cancels this. So if we multiply this out, we're going to get half of 50, 40, which is going to be 25, 20. So the number of ways you can rearrange the seven letters of the word YouTube is 2,520 ways. That's why you never gamble because you might think you can guess right. Just imagine your chances of guessing right if there are 2,520 options. I think I'm going to do more videos about combinations, license plate combinations. How many license plates can you generate in a state that uses a certain pattern of generating license plates? Maybe that will be an interesting video to do. Leave a comment in the comment section. Never stop learning, because those who stop learning, stop living. Bye-bye.